What is going on guys? This is Ben here bringing you another Brawl Stars video. Today, we are going to be trying to get our second ever 500 Brawler here. You can see we have Bull. He is at 498 trophies. Been a struggle. I've been really back and forth in the 470 trophy range. It's like been up and down, up and down, but I am playing Feast or Famine. I think this is one of the best bowl maps because in close range parameters, he just melts. If you have your three charges, he's going to destroy everything in close parameters. And that's a lot of times what happens for Feast or Famine. I'll give you guys some best tips with what I think with him. Uh, but first, I have to buy the skin here. So I have actually been not... I thought I had the bull skin. And since I kind of dislike it, I actually do prefer like the normal one. Uh, I don't know. I just, I'm just not a fan of like the biker, the mullet and all that stuff. I don't know. And I think it looks kind of funny on the map. But we're going to purchase this today. I can't tell you in the future if I'm going to use this, but I know if you guys do like the bull skin or not. And also definitely like the video, this is more Brawl Stars videos. I'm just excited because we're going to be trying to get him to 500 trophies. So right now he's currently at uh, 498. I'm actually going to show you guys, I was playing on my iPhone. Normally I play on my iPad, but I was playing on my iPhone here. This was my match that I took first in to, from when I was at 492 trophies. So we're going to start it off here and... <laughs> I rush the mid. A lot of times I'll rush the middle if I don't have two boxes behind me. And if I can gain control of the middle, I'll do fine. But you can see I got lucky up to start here how the enemy bowl took care of a bowl in the middle. Because you can, if you guys rush to the middle as fast as you can, like beeline it right to the middle and you keep your eyes peeled at the corners of the map or that circle map of Feast, like not the circle map, but like the edges of Feast or Famine, you sometimes will be able to see like the ball or the, you guys know the immune ball around the brawlers. You'll be able to see that. So you know how many people you're up against in the middle and then it's kind of like a like a cat and mouse game where if you see them across the map taking the boxes in the middle you'll take one box and then you don't really try and aggress them unless unless you want to play super passive and just chill in there try and catch them off guard but if you see them taking a box more often than not and they're not right in front of your face you want to you want to take a box too to stay on par with them uh whether if you're a bull a shelly whatever uh, a bull it's very a lot of the the shotgun brawlers use the same strategy there and then just, if you notice there's more than one other brawler going in there, because a lot of times, sometimes a lot of them rush in there, a lot of times I'll actually dip out. Like, say, look, there, I notice there's five brawlers rushing middle. I'll actually dip out and let them take care of themselves so I don't have to be dealing with that, because a lot of times with that many brawlers go into the middle, it's going to be chaos, and a lot of people are going to drop, because remember, you just want to try and get to that fifth spot in showdown here, but I'm, I'm rocking the mid still. Once you gain middle control, you really do not want to leave it. I've made that mistake in the past sometimes where, like, a brawler is super weak, but if you lose your middle control, it puts you in a tough spot. Uh, so I'm just kind of chilling here, letting those Brocks use their shots, trying to evade them. And you kind of just want to chill in the middle, kind of where I'm at. So you can see all sides. Like if you stand right here, you can see all sides of where everything's at. And I saw the I saw the Mortis up top there, so I'm like, all right, he's got no, no elixir. He's just chilling around, hiding in brushes, not fighting, trying to get to like the top couple, the top rounds to get trophy. So he's a non-factor. I was just waiting for these two down low to come at me, and then I got the Nita, and then here's where I go for that. Uh, basically, the Brock had no choice, and then this is where he knew it, I knew it. There was no way he was going to take care of me, so then we let him live to the second one. So... That puts us to where we're at now. You can see I gained those trophies. Get that to 500, or get that to 498. And now this is the, the tough match. So I normally I'm incredibly aggressive, like I'll usually always be rushing middle and seeing how many people I'm playing off, like playing against. And I would say if, if you are weak, you kind of just chill and try to evade the other people. And do not engage unless you have all three of your, shell, your shotgun shells. Unless they're like the opponent's weak, because you need all three of those early on until you get some elixir built up. Early on, we're talking. So, hopefully, this goes well for us. It doesn't take a whole lot of tries, because I don't want to. Basically, let's not jinx anything. Let's just say I might play passive here, going for the 500, because all we need to do is get the two trophies. But if I see the opportunity, I'm probably going to rush into the middle, and we're probably going to have a long queue. It seems like it takes quite a while, because it is actually very early in the morning here. All right, here we go. This was actually shorter than I thought. So let's see if we have a good spawn. So our spawn, we can take two, but the middle is very juicy. I'm actually going to rush middle here. So we see we see three other people coming in. So I'm actually going to back out, go for these boxes. Oh, we see a Shelly. You know what? We got kicked out of the... We backed out of the mid. Shelly is going to have to deal with that Piper. So we're just gonna see how this one plays out. We did. We, I think we have a Frank to my left. 
If brawlers keep dropping like this, we're in a good spot. So I hate to have to play a passive game like this. I know it's not the most interesting, but I'm showing you guys like a real showdown match without the modifiers of how it might turn out. Cause like I rushed mid, there was too many brawlers for me to, for my liking there. I went in the back of there and if I would engage on the Shelly, she would have took care of me because at a longer range fight, she actually beats me. Hopefully the Piper just takes care of her because I cannot beat the Shelly. All right, seven brawlers left. We just need to get to five and we're in the, we're in the, the golden zone. Come on. So she's definitely trying to push me out. I know someone's probably camping over here. Trying to get this Piper to give her eyes on that Shelly so she can snipe her. Because we have no elixir, guys. We're in an awful spot. Alright, there's six. We just need one more Brawler to drop. I don't like this. I don't like the spot that we're in. Because we're going to get start getting heat here. Alright, we have to we have to move. That was a risky maneuver. Someone in the in the middle might come and get me. We're basically just hoping one of them dies. Spike is super low. I could rush in, but I'm gonna let that Shelly take care of her. All right, this is where hopefully some brawlers start falling. All right, we're down to four. I think our camp game has worked. Uh, let's. Oh my gosh, did that actually just happen? I'll try and beat, he gotta, he's gonna kill me. We got the super, but I don't care. We got our 500 there. I'll, I'll, I'll go all day, I'll just give you that win, man. I don't even care, we got our 500 there. That was like the, the worst, the absolute worst opening that you could ever have up in the high trophy range where you got no boxes. The middle, you, normally guys, I always run to middle just to see how many brawlers are going, if it's very juicy in the middle with a ton of boxes. And once I saw there was like three or four people going in there, I'm like, I'm gonna let them fight it out. And I'm gonna try and dip out and take my two boxes. Normally you can get back in time to take your two boxes, but you can see that Shelly, I didn't wanna fight with her. I just wanted to wait it out. And it actually wait, like went in our favor. We didn't get smushed. There wasn't a lot of teaming it seemed like this round. So we got incredibly lucky because sometimes the teaming with no mods and showdown is insane it's crazy it's very annoying we got our 500 bull there so i'm gonna try the the shelly the shelly strat here so hold on i wanna i got i just gotta look at it. i'm i gotta put the skin back <laughs> maybe it's our good luck skin i'll only pull out this skin and very when i need some good luck how, how about that i mean our spawn was good we had the two boxes behind us could have rushed mid but the mid was juicy that's why i rushed it first and saw a ton of other players so i, I backed out but I'm excited for that one, because I, 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 gr I was grinding a lot tonight, trying to get him up there. Actually, Luke, uh, Brawl Stars Ray, was over. Uh, we watched the Conor McGregor, the Conor McGregor fight, and we got a bowl going into the mid. So I can beat a bowl early on. I just have to actually get Elixir first. So I'm going to see where this bowl tries to charge me from. I'm trying to, like, avoid him. You can see how he can beat me up close at the moment. So you use your boxes to your advantage to get out because pretty much everyone, everybody is auto-aiming. At this time, he has no. So that was like a tactical play. Like you gotta, since you know, pretty much I have my super here. All right, well, since the, like the bow is converging and so is another bowl, I have to kind of like back out here, be cautious. It's very rare that there's this many boxes still in the middle this late here. But I have my super, so I feel a ton better about it. Because if I see the, if I see the bowl in my face, the super's getting launched. There we go. All right, so we took care of the middle. We won the middle, like, very late into the round. Usually, that does not happen. Like, in the mid, guys, we can take care of this guy. Oh, I thought he would have been up closer to by the mortar. But basically, in the middle, like, bowl up close can win. So that's why with Shelly, you gotta play tactically, try and get him at range, or di like dip and dodge, or dip and weave. You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball there, uh, through those, through the crates, because like I said, majority of people are auto-aiming for sure. Uh, 
I don't know. Like, I hate when the mid gets, like, smushed like this, because now it, very, it leaves you very limited. We see some teamers down there. I know someone's in the brush up top of me. But if you have mid control like this, it's kind of just, like, dodging everyone's shots. Just trying to, like, weed it out. Because you're shotgun brawler. You want the mist or the gas to come lower. And then you can see how some people are forced to run into the mid, go to safety. And that leaves you in a good spot. Oh, God. Get my... Th Ooh. I know the bowl's down here. Alright, we avoided the Brock, but now I can't travel from grass to grass. Alright, this is in my this is in my ballpark here. Uh since I'm not locked onto the mortar yet, I'll just let that pipe um uh, the penny just take care of the bowl. And then we'll just take care of him for now. Usually, if you don't have to fight, you don't wanna fight. You you wanna let the other brawlers take care of themselves. And put your god, you put your, you put yourself in a good spot to win the, to win the match, to win the round, to see how it goes. We we got it there. Feast or famines coming in clutch here. We're almost at 75. So, solar victories are almost up to my 3v3 victories. Like I said, I, I love lone wolves and like Halo. Uh, I was always a huge fan of just like the normal. It wasn't team deathmatch because it's team. It was just I forget what it's called in Call of Duty. It's everyone against each other. Deathmatch, solo deathmatch. I forget what the call, the name of it is called. Can't remember. But we got a nice little fight down there. I actually didn't rush to the middle this time, and it paid off in my favor. And I can fight a primo right here. If a primo really wants to fight me, okay. I guess I should have been more. I'm just trying to get my super. I'm trying to chip away, get the super. And the middle is still wide open. Someone's someone's camping in here. I don't really care. I'm gonna get a box and then just camp here. See where, because you you want to use the boxes to your favor, like for auto aiming stuff. You can dodge with them. And oh my gosh, I guess since we like, I don't know. Nobody really rushed them in here. I'm just trying to dodge all these, get all these, and dodge. All right, we're finally in a safe spot because that crow. And I know the Jessie's over here somewhere. There she is. All right, well, a lot different scenario. Like right here, you can see the top, you can see the bottom. Uh, I know I could, I guess I could poke my nose in over here. Well, I'm gonna camp this little, the power cube. Someone's gonna go for it. Uh, I guess I, I'll leave it. So we, I mean, I'm actually, the, the there's a, there's basically a, a crow up top, dynamite to the top right, the cultist to my left. So I'm gonna let them try and. Oh, there it is. There it is. Well, hopefully the dynamite. That primo. Alright, well, we know it's a crow. And we know it's a cult. And I have 14 elixir in the middle. And my super. Alright, well, this game's done done before it starts but you don't want to be like even though you know it's done you just don't want to like show yourself to the cult right away there we go <laughs> i thought it would, i thought it would have been you know how there's that one sliver of grass left i thought it was in it enough where the cult super was not going to hit me so i think we're going to wrap it up there uh you can see like once you get the how to play feast or famine down you can kind of use that strategy for all the sh shotgun brawlers just know you it's basically this is how it goes Bowl up close, like it's, assuming it's a C, like even level, even elixir, usually wins because he just when you're on top of each other, he just dominates. Shelly, she has her super, she can be worrisome, but up close you'll beat her, or she loses to Bowl. Daryl, he can't. It's it's very hit or miss because if you hit with both of your shotguns, he sometimes still loses to Bowl, but he can beat up close the Shelly. I'm talking if they're right on top of each other, but. Shelly has the better range of the three, I guess, is what I, is what I'm trying to say here. But uh, we're gonna wrap up the video there. Uh, feast or famine with other brawlers. You usually don't want to rush Primo. You can rush the mid sometimes, but other than that, it's kind of just like staying along the outside, checking all the brush, trying to converge on the middle. And Bow's actually very good too once you get a star power, because then you can see where everyone is. But we're gonna wrap it up there. Definitely like though. Let me know how you guys are enjoying the Brawl Stars video. Let me know what your favorite brawler is too, and how many you got at 500. I'm I'm, I'm at two. But hey, it's two, it's two more than I did, like, it's two more than before, because, like, last week I didn't have any. So, we've been grinding, 
We'll continue the grind. I hope you guys enjoy the videos though. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys later.